Good morning. Welcome to the uh, update from the bunker this morning. It's Monday the 23rd of March and it's a beautiful day looking out there. Blue sky, sunshine, saw no planes, very, very quiet. And uh, we're kicking off the week and it's now 7.30 in the morning and got quite a busy, busy day ahead working with uh, clients around about. I'm going to the shops today. <laughs> I'll let you know how that goes. Got my paperwork all sorted out and my shopping list all set up. And uh, just looking through the news and the press over the weekend and uh, such a lot going on, difficult to really make sense of it all. And how do we know what is true and the best advice and what's really happening? Uh, but you look at the response to people from uh, the UK to the US to the mainland Europe, and there's a couple of models that could be interesting to, to, to look at but to explain the pattern of behavior that likely we're all going through, maybe society as a whole is going through. And the first one would be the Kubler-Ross grief cycle. Um, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, in fact, um, positioned this model in 1969. And what she says is that given uh, a challenging situation or a loss, then we go through a five-step process. And it's, it starts with denial, then we go into anger, then depression, and then bargaining and acceptance. And then that's how we deal with loss and deal with grief. And the other model is worth a look at, and you can Google it and have a look if you like, is one by Colin Carnell in 1990, and it's called the coping cycle. Similar type of thing, a five-stage process that, again, starts with denial, and then we go to stage two into defense, discarding, adaptation, and then internalization and uh, acceptance. And I think the one that actually applies most appropriately to the, the situation that we seem to be in is actually the, the Kubler-Ross, the, um, the, 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 the uh, uh, grief cycle. And if you think about how people are behaving, we start off with denial. And this happened uh, just about all over the world. Doesn't apply to me, doesn't apply to us, we're going to be okay, it's a Chinese problem, it's not going to come to Europe, and we just carry on. Then when things start to change and we do get impacted by the situation, we go into anger or resistance mode, frustration. Um, we don't want this to happen. And the only response we've got to it is uh, anger. And we, we lash out against it. And you can see this in, in stages coming through on people's uh, social media responses. And you know, it's understandable because a lot of uh, fear out there. But anger is the next stage. The next stage to watch out for is depression. When we sort of resign yourself to the situation, this is what's going to be. All looks bad, all looks uh, gloomy, no way through it. We feel overwhelmed by the situation and we don't know what to do. Now, in that situation there, what we need is emotional support. We need to ask people for help. We need to look at uh, for guidance and ideas and not be with our, our friends and family and colleagues because we physically can't be with them. But get involved, you know, do it online, get involved in chat rooms, get involved on webinars get some help, get some support, and for everybody else as well, you know, keep messaging people, look out for them, make sure they're doing okay. They're gonna dip, we're all gonna dip into this depression. How long we stay there, of course, is not exactly up to us, but that can vary for different people. But what will happen is that as we go through that, we then go through a period of bargaining. We start to make bargains with ourselves. We do deals that will change this, we'll do that, we'll trade that for that, we'll adapt we'll make something different, we'll start to make the best of it, and we start reaching out to others for help and guidance and support and direction. And that's where people really start to, uh, yes, accept what the situation is, but they move forwards and decide to plan for the future. Now, we don't know what the future is going to look like. It's going to be very different. And if you read the press, which I wouldn't recommend in all situations, it's going to be a, a five-year depression and that sort of thing. We don't know what's going to happen out there. What we do know, I think, is that when we do come out of this, it's going to be different. It's going to be a different world. It's going to be a slightly different market, a different economy. And we have to adapt and change to it. Yes, things will come back, but maybe we want some to come back and maybe we don't want other things to come back. So there's this bargaining approach of doing a deal with ourselves, letting go of the old, accepting the new, and then developing and planning for it. And the final stage is acceptance. When we get okay with it, when we're okay with the change, we've let go of the old, we've done the deal, it might not be easy, might be different than we had before, but we're okay with it, we can move forward, and then we can start to have hope, then we can have visibility, then we can have some goals and targets. So those two models, uh, the one I've just described there is the Kubler-Ross uh, model, very, very quickly. It is an interesting process, this graph, this chart that people go through. Now, how long it takes to go through each stage 
depends on the individual, depends on the support they have and the situation they're in. But you can see this happening. Just watch out for these five stages. Denial, anger, depression, bargaining and acceptance. And where are you on that chart? And you can, you know, if you're into anger mode, well, you know what? Good. Get over it. Get through it. We all go through it. We have to go through it. Maybe there's going to be some depression and then we can come out of it as well. Make sure you don't get stuck. Keep moving forwards through it. Reach out for some help as well. So that's the sort of process I think we're going through. Hope that puts a bit of sense into the world. It's a crazy world out there. And, uh, you know, what I'm seeing in terms of business and for everybody is this creativity and innovation. It really is kicking in because not because we want to, because we have to. And most people in business, like business owners, entrepreneurs, we have to uh, do our best work when our back's against the wall. We just do. We always have. That's why we do what we do. It's why we're unemployable. So this situation has put a lot of pressure, a lot of uncertainty on people in business, business owners and the like. And yet, you know what? This is when we step up. We have to. We've got, we've got no choice. We have to step up. We have to be creative. We have to be innovative. We have to design and develop new products, new systems, new methods, new business models that will carry us, our clients and our families forward with us. So sometimes uh, the best creativity comes out of necessity uh, during any war. And you know, Macron has said over here that we are in a state of war with the virus. A state of war is where things are designed real quick. The innovation comes out really quickly. If you look at any conflict situation, innovation, creativity and invention, it really steps up. So expect that and, and uh, part participate in it. It is going to be a high amount of pressure, but we can use it to an advantage, go through the cycle, be creative, be innovative. You're going to be OK. We're all going to be OK. We're going to come through it. It may not seem that way at the time sometimes, but it's going to be OK. We're going to get through this. So bear that in mind. Look at the cycle, look at the timing. Where are you on the, on the cycle? Where are you and your family and your friends and your colleagues? But also turn that heat into positive heat back against the wall come out swinging, swinging, and that's when some of us, most of us actually, in business do our best work. So use uh, that level of pressure as a positive thing. So I'll see you tomorrow, and I'm off to uh, the shops. As I said, I've got a list, and I'll probably get there and make it back. All will be good. Have a great day. Enjoy the uh, the weather, and uh, I'll see you on the call or the, the, the video tomorrow. In the meantime, take care, be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow.